Porter, good morning, sir. Good morning. And we are talking about uh, the Dakota College campus read. Yes. Now, uh, this is, I'm not familiar with this. What exactly is the D.C. College read, the campus read? The campus read <clears throat> involves selecting a book mm -hmm. that we hope all the students on campus read it. Mm -hmm. And we have it as a sign reading in our Composition One classes. Okay. And, and then in conjunction with that book, we do a series of brown bag seminars that involves some aspect of the book. Okay. And so this year, our book is Deeply Rooted, which is a book about three unconventional farmers. Okay. And so we have set up six brown bags that involve agriculture and food and agriculture production, large production versus some of those who are not conventional farmers. Okay. And our first one will be September 21st, right. and that one is Farm to Table, and that's our introduction, and in that one we are going to actually have some producers, and we're going to have um, food-based luncheon and a food-based supper. Now, the Campus Reed Brown Bags seminars are over lunch. They meet up in the Alumni Center in, the, in, in uh, New Thatcher, mm -hmm. and uh, we meet at noon, and... For students, they get a brown bag lunch. This time we're going to have a lunch that's oh. going to be involved um, okay. local producers. And then we meet again at 7. And we get a big turnout of students, typically at noon, and some community people, but most of our people that from the community come in the evening. Okay. And you so don't this, have to read the book. Just come and enjoy. This is this is open to everybody, then? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. The more the come. better. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yes, because we get better discussion. That's right. Okay, and then and then um, after September twenty first, there are there are six different. There are six. Okay. And the meetings are September twenty one is the first one. Okay. October nineteen, we're going to talk about federal farm policy, and we're getting someone to come in and talk about that. Mm -hmm. November sixteen, we are bringing in some people who actually are featured in the book. Oh, oh, uh, oh all right. Because the book deals with a family from Lamore, North Dakota. Actually, their farm is out by Fullerton, but, and we will have one of them come in to speak okay. on genetically modified seeds versus other, other types of seeds. And the people who do that actually produce garden seeds, one of the big things okay. they do, as well as some other types of farming. And then we don't do any brown bags during December or January because they're short months for the campus. Sure. Okay. February 15, we have... Uh, our history professor, Steve Sathry, who will come in and talk to us about the history of Spanish land grants, because our second part of the book deals with a rancher from Abiquiu, New Mexico, okay. and part of what, part of his land that they communally owned goes back to land grant days, the Spanish land grants. Oh, wow. Okay. And then March 18, we'll have environmental impacts of pesticide, herbicide use. Okay. And April 19, we sort of culminate all of this with our Earth Day celebration. And in that one, we're going to take a look at the obstacles and operations and opportunities for large versus small operation farming. Okay. So that's our, that's our broad bag series. Uh, we're hoping lots of people read the book and, and uh, enjoy it. Come talk. Uh -huh. It'll be great fun. Uh, I, I, on here it says March eighth. Is that is that a misprint? March eighth or is Ma it March eighth? Is the is the environmental okay. impacts? I must have said that wrong. And April nineteenth is the last one. Okay, all right. And this is this is uh, this is free to the public. Absolutely. Okay. And I encourage people to come. Okay. We will meet in the upstairs in the alumni center for this. Okay. And that's it. Sounds like it's like a wonderful deal. I, I like I like the. The fact that you're bringing people from the book in, too, mm -hmm. to, to kind of put a, a, a face to the uh, the name. Yes, and, and we have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. now, we, Lisa Hamilton is the author. We don't have her. We, in the past, have had the author here. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah. That's uh, okay, and that's and, and how, how long does this take to plan? Well, I mean, from start to finish, you have to find the right book. Well, we, we, uh, we have, which brings me in, into the other part <laughs> okay. of our read. We ha also have a community book read that meets once a month okay and we meet in the library and our first meeting i don't have it in front of me i think it's just before 
I think it's like September 20th, but it will be in the paper and, and, okay. and you will know it. In that one, we have a, com a group of interested community members who come in. We meet once a month, and each member of the committee suggests books, and we decide which one we'll read, and we'll read a different book each month. Oh, wow. And, uh, and then in May, that group gets together, and we try to get a student or two, and we select the book for the campus read. Okay, so it, it's done early enough. Oh yeah, we selected in May for the okay. next year, and okay. then over summer, um, Dr. Albrightson and I, who co-chair this, and Dr. Migler get together and, and uh, with a couple other people, and we look at, okay, what are we going to do for brown bags that's going to work sure. with this? And who can we get from the book, if possible? And, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah right. And then what, what's the history of this, and how long has this been going on? You know, I looked, this is, the one we're doing now is the 10th book. Okay, so 10th annual Campus yeah, Read. Yeah, in a okay. sense, yeah, it's our 10th book. Um, and we've done a huge variety of books. The okay. first we did was Refuge, written by Terry Tempest Williams. Okay. Uh, we try to focus the books around our campus focus, which is nature, technology, and beyond. And the bulk of them center around nature, as it does this year. Now, one of the recent books we did was called The Circle, which centered around technology. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I mean, so there's a wide-ranging uh, topic of books that you yes. all uh, oh, yes. go through over the over the ten times you've done this. Yes. And uh, what, what's been your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Are they all just kind of just as equally fun for you? Well, my favorite was not the favorite of the students. <laughs> okay. One year we did Walden from Henry David Thoreau. Oh, sure, a sure. Classic, and and that was my favorite. That was but your it was favorite. Not with the students. Yeah, potato, potato. You know, yeah. to each their own, I guess, but. But that's great. That's great. This one is fun, and it's a okay. it's a much easier read than Thoreau because <laughs> it's, it's a narrative. Okay. And it presents these three producers, a good deal of the author's opinion, on different things like the farm program mm -hmm. and different things about large versus small producers, and sustainability of conventional agriculture. But it's centered around these three families. Okay. One of whom is a dairy farmer, in uh, Sulphur Springs, Texas. African-American dairy farmer. The other I talked about before is a rancher in Abiquiu, New Mexico. Right. And then the Podals, who live in Lemoore. Okay. All right. And they must have relatives over in this area then, too. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to... I think Teresa is speaking. Okay. All right. In November. Okay. Well, that that sounds like a lot of fun. And, I mean, it, honestly, it seems like something that the community can really get behind oh, and, and so. really enjoy. I hope so. Anything hope else you want to add, Mr. Porter? Oh, I think... I think we've covered it. Okay. Just And for the community book read, come as well if you want to sit in, whether you've read the book or not. Okay. Sounds like a wonderful time. I appreciate your time this morning, and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get you back soon. Good. Ryan GMC, Buick Cadillac.